I spent 200 hours making a Roblox game. But why? Well, you see, around a month ago, I tried to challenge myself to make a Roblox simulator game. And I've always wondering of what it actually is to make a Roblox simulator game. And although the game is not finished, let's just say it did pretty well. 43,000 views. Whoa. Man, I don't expect this video to blow up, but thank you. Thank you. I tried the game and I can say it's polished and fun and amazing. Hmm. Man, these comments are really nice. Thank you, guys. I'm so glad that the video blew Wait, what? Remember? Wait, what? Well, I didn't really expect the previous video to blow up, so I guess it's time to update this game. Okay, let's play a game. What would be the first thing I should do to this game? Is it A. Make more game feature? Is it B. Improve game mechanics? Or is it C. Um, I don't know. Well, if you answer A, B or C, you are, are wrong. Because the first thing that came to my mind is to remove the rebirth <coughs> system. But why? Rebirth system is one of the most iconic aspects of a Roblox simulator game. Why would you even do that and it's make the game more replayable? Well, yeah, rebirth system is a good way to add more replayability. If it's implemented rightfully, you see, in this game, rebirthing is so easy to do. You could even get rebirth 20 in like 5 minutes or something. So that's why I decided to change the rebirth system to a leveling system, which I think is a better system than rebirth. The leveling system is basically just like rebirth, except it doesn't reset all your stats. And it gives you a funny little beetle on top of your head. And for the actual way to rebirth, I think I'm going to make it harder and feels more rewarding. Okay, enough talking about rebirth. Let's add something fun. Introducing Farming Tools Instead of manually upgrading your farming tool stats, no, you could just buy a better one. These farming tools also have their own advantage and disadvantage. For example, having a short harvest radius in terms of a shorter cooldown, or even a farming tools for a specific type of crops. And yes, I know these tools are very, very high quality. Garden how I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie, this one looks cool. I like the flower one, but straight line, straight up a cube, <laughs> and then another cube, and then you add another cube. Wait, verification. Damn, the the name is fire, bro. I, I didn't know something like that. Wait, I just realized it's 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 the same model as the handheld oh, phone. Nah, <laughs> nah, I love this one. Model, you just move the 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 middle cube and the top cube. Oh no. Oh yeah, I did set a specific type of crops, which means I'm going to be adding a new type of crops, which also mean I have to make a new area for them to be formed which also mean more work this is going to be fun Hey, I'm back. So it's been a while since I made the new area for other crops and it's finally done and here's how it turns out. First, we have the new area for carrots and I call it Carrot Island and also a new area for potato and I name it Potet Town. Get it? Because it's Potato Town. <laughs> also, there's many people in the last video that said I shouldn't use a free model which is understandable but the reason why I use free model is because I haven't learned how to make a model myself. Maybe I will try to learn on how to make a model soon. Also, some people think that the Wolf of game is a free model, which is just not true. And once again, I'm so sorry for using a free model. And yes, I know the build looks kind of bad. It's not really that good, but I think the simplicity of the builds has become the charm of this game. And with that, the player now can travel to different arena, which is with feel for wheat. Carrot Island for Carrot and Potato Town for Potato and each area requiring different amount of level you get from the new leveling system and for the hardest part the pet system now the reason why I said pet system is hard to make a pet system first you need to make the pet and then you have to make the pet to be able to follow you you even need 
a way for players to get the pet in the first place which is known as egg hatching in simulator games and also a way for player to manage their pets which mean a pet inventory and all of that i need to make it by myself this is going to be fun and i think i really underestimate how hard it is to make a simulator game there are many simulator games out there that make me think it's easy to make one well in reality it's not that easy even though these simulator games just look like they are the same games made by the same people, each of these games is actually made by different individuals and I'm just one of them. At this point, I've started to feel off. I feel like all of this work is so time consuming and making me feel burned out. And this game is just one of thousands of simulator games in Roblox, which makes me feel worthless. What is actually the point of me doing all of this? All of this just to be one of them? Can I actually find the purpose? Can all of this actually worth something? Or am I just wasting my time? Okay, enough with the dramatic. The pet system is finally done, let's go! Now you can go to any X and open an egg. You can open one or three. Or even four if you press E and T at the same time. After hatching your eggs, you can open the pet inventory and press equip desk. Or you can just manually select what to equip. Each pet has different stats and the rarer the pet is, the stronger it will be. For example, chicken has 1.2 crops multiplier and its rarity is common, while the pet chimken having the rarity of rare with 8 crops multiplier. You can also recycle your pets to get gems, which also scale with the rarity of the pets. Having too many of the same pets, don't worry, you can use 4 of the same pet to upgrade it to a stronger one. The tiers are gold, diamond, emerald, and amethyst. And the only way to differentiate them is from the color of the eyes. I'm not lazy, okay? I, I think changing eyes is cool. You can only have 50 pets in your inventory and 4 pets equipped. Also, you will get this free pet if you have rebirth before, and I think that's it. I just need to make a global leaderboard system and then finally, the game is mostly done. But still, the game is still far from being finished. For example, I still need to make the threat system, more quests, and much more. So please, if you have any idea or suggestion for this game, join my Discord server or just comment down below. I would like to hear it and it's really, really helped me a ton. Liking and subscribing also helped by the way, so... And yes, I know, it's only a simple Roblox simulator game. And it's nothing different from thousands of other Roblox Simulator games out there. But the thing is, I learned so many other things when I'm making this. I learned how to make a pet system, egg hatching with different pet change, inventory system, global leaderboard, and so much more. And also being able to see your friends, other people testing and playing your game, this already makes me feel like all of this work is not for nothing. Once again, this simulator game is just one of thousands of simulator games. But for me, it's not really about the game, it's about the journey, the process, the feeling of finally fixing the stupid bug and testing the game without any errors is amazing. And maybe, maybe the real simulator were the friends we made along the way. Dude, I just realized this script is so stupid, what the hell.